Hey, what is good, everyone? Fury here, and we're back with some more Grand Blue. This time, we've got Seth playing as Percival versus Taco playing as Gran. Let's get straight into this match. Start breaking it down. Seth being a long-standing Percival player, and obviously with Percy just kind of improving over time, and other characters getting nerfed, he's considered one of the best. But Gran's still up there with him in that top tier. And this is obviously a brilliant way to start for Gran. So, how did he get that corner positioning? Let's have a look at this. So, just maneuvering around the fireballs is the super important part here because Percival's fireballs are very good. You can't roll them, which just, it makes them basically just walls on the screen. If you don't react in some way, you don't throw your own projectile out there, you don't stop him on startup and you don't jump it, then he just gets free reign to run over you. I'm getting a big counter hit here, so just pushing him straight to the corner and this is the thing that I was saying before. Gran has, obviously his close B has been nerfed. But his jabs, like his far L, his close L, his 2L are still pretty plus. So he can run forward and reset pressure like he used to. It may not be as potent, but damn, it's still good. And this is going to be a grip of damage, but he is giving up corner positioning for it. Which, you know, it's fine. When you've got a life lead, giving up corner positioning doesn't matter too much, but... It does give the opponent the opportunity to start making a comeback. Does that go through? No, it doesn't go through. So, he's wasted all his meter here. But once again, life lead doesn't matter too much. Just slowly chipping away. I like this. He's keeping it very safe. But what a conversion. Jesus. Converting that counter hit. I mean, I'm sure he went for the 2L sweep. Um, without convert like without being able to hit confirm that makes sense right but getting the super off this is definitely impressive like that's some good reactions he's gonna get a good corner positioning here oh oh man drops a combo all right it pays off look at this fucking air confirm this is disgusting so you know you can't be angry about this and this is the sort of thing that people post on twitter like oh my god this game's broken but it looks like it hits both sides, and Grand's jump buttons definitely hit both sides. So this is this is earned. Unfortunately, doesn't get the conversion off that. The two H whiffing, still winning out the round. Um, man, making a comeback off that is so crazy to me. But when Percival has charges, he just becomes a monster. I love this. Taco using the slash as like a footsie tool, which is really smart. You know, being safe on block. It's a good tool. And versus a character with slow startup, it makes sense as well. But there you go. Whiff punish. You can't whiff that sort of button. It is way too slow. Big neutral jump as well over the boot. Why was he looking for the boot here? Uh, there's the fireball. And you know that the options from Gran are limited. Because he spent the fireball. He's either going to run up to you and start playing neutral. Which he probably wouldn't have got there in time to even punish this neutral jump with a DP. Or he's going to boot. So actually it was a relatively safe neutral jump. Gets the overhead. Blocks the DP as well. And I love that. Hitting him out. This is something that not all characters can massively benefit from. But the ones that do really get something. So he blocks DP before the second hit comes out. He hits close B. And then just gets another one. The scaling on that is super nice. If your character benefits from that getting those count hit close b's then it's definitely something to go for and seth winning out the first match showing just like an insane amount of character knowledge i mean this is the guy that's like second in the leaderboard right now and leaderboards typically don't matter but in this game people have made them matter especially in japan it's gonna get five charges off this and god you have to be scared as gram when things start getting safe like this it's, it's rough man the conversion. Tap, tap. Guy played STA. This is so much damage. For a 2L conversion, that is such an insane amount of damage. And this is just kind of a mauling. Doesn't convert off the safe jump though, unfortunately. But with that sort of life lead, you know, not too deep. Even though, actually, to be fair, Seth has got five charges. So maybe it is kind of deep. And once again, we're seeing this just walk out of range of you know his Percy's buttons use the slash when you think Percy's going to walk forward or throw something out it makes so much sense to me because the whole thing about Percival is 
He has these long range buttons that are pretty slow. He has this amazing fireball, but all of them are beaten by walking back. And if you're walking back, the Percival has to walk forward to take that space back from you. He can't just let you walk back because, you know, it would just be never ending for him. And using that slash stops him from just walking forward. Anything that punishes walking forward at that range is good. Brilliant conversion, but it doesn't actually get anything off the end there. There we go. So you like to see, there's the DP straight out. Safe jump, and just tapping away, man. Those lights are so good still. Does he press a button here? No, I don't think he'll get a punish. It's a super safe move. All right. Oh, like, the Percival's actually just running forward a bit more now. Changing up the spacing pretty well. Like, the, that's one thing about Percival is he can look kind of static at times. Because, you know... Often, when you have got the life lead, you just form this wall of buttons. So, when you're at a life deficit, it does normally require you moving forward. Oh, no, I don't think you would have got... Could he have DP'd after that, maybe? Nice, yeah. That DP is so good. That forward momentum on it makes reacting to fireballs insanely easy. You know, easy inputs, you're holding forward, you've already basically got the motion for the DP. Oh, drop on the ant, yeah. I mean, that's always anyone that has to like do a forward, a move with forward momentum after an anti air. That's something that happens quite a lot. You dash forward and then your buttons kind of you get crossed up, basically. It sucks. You have to normally do it super late and go into a light button if you want to get a conversion there when it's just that weird height. But the damage you lose is massive. All right, big throw. And that throw has obviously been set up by all this frame trap pressure. Giving him something else to think about, and man, got caught high, and that's going to be death. Oh no, that was actually the combo limit. Shocker. I mean, he probably could have ended earlier into super, and maybe that would have killed. But even still, clutching out the end of the round. It's interesting to see how Grand's still functioning, very similar to how he used to. The changes just didn't kill him off. They normalized him more than anything, but still a very good character. Once again, moving back, then using slash seeing it so much all right it's gonna be safe here gets to throw there's so many when, whenever you block that move there's so many things you're worrying about because he's plus he's got a command throw he's got a normal throw he's got an overhead and he's got frame traps oh that's big i want he probably should have cancelled in super right but yeah just dp'ing out not spending the big dp but not spending ex because he needs it he needs it for neutral right now when fireball's this much of a threat you see Taco does not going for the fireball at all. Oh, there it is. As soon that was so sick. They played so patiently, and as soon as you started doing these sorts of run forward stops, that's when he catches him with the fireball. Safe jump off this. Just tapping away. Somehow got away with that charge, but even still, Taco just winning out that last round. Yeah, you the the way they're playing this neutral seems like very core to how this matchup needs to be played. Oh no. Alright, yeah, just DPing out. He didn't actually get counter hit there. And sometimes when you It's like this weird meta game when you get an overhead and it goes over a button, you be always believe that you should be getting a combo. Just it's hard to actually react to it being a counter hit and not just a normal hit. Especially when you've just seen a button whiff. Um and it often leaves you open to just like a DP or some sort of reversal. Wow, once again. The show you can reactions is super good. Missing the command throw though, that's gonna be big. <clears throat> so working into the corner with this super safe pressure. There we go. The free the free hit uh, conversions are so nice. Being able to keep your opponent in check for that long with free normals, like free light attacks, and not having to go into an auto combo because the auto combo pretty much always leaves you somewhat vulnerable. It's a powerful, it's a powerful thing. Alright, Graham's got to be scared here. He has worked right into this corner. And you can see that, like, this interaction where he got this whiff punish. This is an interesting one. So, you can see why this happened. Because Taco has been going for that slash, the walk back into the slash so many times. That Cephas is putting out a long range button to catch him moving forward. You know, you've worked someone to the corner. It's only natural that they'll want to throw out a fireball or a button. He actually gets a whiff punish here, but it doesn't cancel it into anything. Which is unfortunate. I think he could have gone into EX boot, and that would have been massive. Man, that's disgusting. 
So if you don't know, this is a meaty overhead. And if this hits, even when it's not a counter hit, you get a combo. So Percy, one of the characters that can set that up really easily. Big hit. One last mix. Just playing it safe. Not risking getting hit by like DP. Which I like, but now that Grand's got super. Oh, Alright, just winning it out with the mash. Yeah, there was some cool stuff there. I, Seth is just so good at controlling the pace for a match. He uses so many different options and his movement's awesome. And you don't normally look at, um, at Percy as a movement character, but it can definitely be a sort of trait that a player has with Percy. Because he is so linear with how he normally approaches you. It's Fireball, it's Far M, it's Far H. And these are all amazing tools. But he has other things in there that make them even more powerful. Um, and the way that Taco is playing neutral just made so much sense to me. That's like, yeah, it, it's just completely logical. You get outside of the range of those buttons, force him to come forward. When he comes forward, you punish him from coming forward. And that's just the, how that interaction works. But the thing is about doing that as Gran is you're not really getting that much reward. The reward you're banking on is the knockdown. If you don't get a mix-up, a successful mix-up, then that reward is not that big. Obviously, you get a bit of screen control, but still, that reward's not that big. Whereas Percival, if he does catch you with one of those long-range buttons, it's going to fucking hurt. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful for you. It was helpful for me. It's always good to see like two just amazing players battle it out. Um, what I really want to do is I want to get more... I want to get community replays. I did this for a little bit in Street Fighter Five, where I basically asked people to send in replays or just give me their name on uh, CFN at the time. And I would just go look at some of their matches and break it down because it's all very well and good looking at top players, you know, love doing it. But you learn so much from watching new players um, or like intermediate players or wherever people are at. And hopefully I can teach them something. They can teach me something. I might bring in some character specialists to help people out if they're kind of intermediate and getting someone in that's really good with a character will be helpful. But yeah, so if you are interested, feel free to DM me on Twitter or put it down in your username in the comments. If there's a specific matchup you want to learn about, then just tell me. And yeah, hopefully we can get some like community replays going. I think that would be really fun. Anyway, have a great day. Take care of yourself.